to another video from yours truly. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all are doing well. It's been a little bit of a morning here. I'm a little sweaty. I'm a little disheveled, but that's okay because I'm here for you. And today we are going to be talking about seasonal dry skin and what you can do about it. We're transitioning into winter and some of you may be feeling it in your skin and your hair and your nails and everywhere else. And we are going to be talking about all those issues today. So I hope you find this video helpful and enjoyable. And if you wanna see what my recommendations are, then just keep watching. All right, I've got my notes here. We are going to be going over everything and I'm going to try and go through these products in sort of the order that you would use them so that it makes it nice and easy. Um, and I wanted to start off with cleansers because believe it or not, how you're cleansing your face can definitely affect the dryness and um, basically the integrity of the moisture barrier of your skin. So one of the first products, I've got a whole big tub right here. Ooh, one of the first products that I wanted to talk to you about is the um, Hydrating Cleanser from CeraVe. Sometimes when you're battling with skin issues, the best thing to do is sort of go back to the basics. Um, one of the great things about this cleanser is that it's non-comedogenic, which means that it's not going to break you out, and it has a bunch of ceramides in it. Now, ceramides are something we're going to be talking about a little bit today because they are fantastic for repairing your moisture barrier in your skin. What's your moisture barrier? Basically, it's just a fancy way of saying the how much moisture your skin is able to retain. Now, sometimes when people get products like these that have ceramides in them, they feel a little bit of a stinging when they first apply them. If that's you, don't worry. The issue is that your moisture barrier is compromised. So with continued use of a product like this, the stinging will stop. Um, you'll find that once you've gotten enough moisture back into your skin, that there isn't any sort of irritation with a product like this. But this can be really helpful because it doesn't have any fragrance, it doesn't have any dyes, it doesn't have anything super fancy in it. It's just there to cleanse your face it's not great for makeup removal, so I would remove your makeup before you use this or just use this in the morning. Um, but this is a great product and you can get it at the drugstore. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is exfoliation. Exfoli what? Exfoliation. It's important. If you are having dry patches or texture on your skin, exfoliation is going to be your best friend. Now, there are two types of exfoliation. There's physical exfoliation and there's chemical exfoliation. Um, but the main thing that you want to remember is that it's important to exfoliate, but you don't want to go crazy on it. So um, you don't want to be leaving your skin feeling raw and chafed and that sort of thing. You want to be gentle, but you want to have an effective exfoliant method. Now, I've got a couple to talk about today. The first one I want to talk about is physical exfoliation and I have this little guy to show you. So this is a little silicone pad that I picked up from Walmart. It came in a pack of two. It has these little bristles on it and basically what you do is you just pump your cleanser onto this pad. You're going to massage it all over your face and into the skin. Again, you don't have to be really harsh with this. Um, but what this is going to do is it's going to remove those like dry flaky bits. It's going to help you get the dead skin off your face so that when you're applying your serums and oils and moisturizers and that sort of thing, they actually sink into the skin that is still alive versus sitting on top of dead skin that you might have on the surface. Another great uh, physical and chemical exfoliant that I can recommend is the Murad AHA, sorry, is the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This is a fantastic cleanser that I have used for a while. Um, this has little granules in it um, that almost feel like little sugar beads. 
And when you massage this into the skin, it's gonna massage those dead flakes off, help with texture. It's gonna leave your skin feeling brighter, smoother. Now, um, one thing I want to add with all of these products is, if you are not having dryness or um, issues all over your skin, all of these methods and um, products that I'm talking about today can be used as a spot treatment. So like for instance, my chin went crazy when the weather started changing. I broke out really badly and was having like deep cystic acne, which is really uncomfortable. And so what I was doing was treating the rest of my face, which was dry, with nourishing uh, masks and oils and serums and then trying to deal with the acne issues that I was having down on my chin with separate products and that's totally fine. If you're finding that you know, you're know you using a chemical exfoliant and it's drying your whole face out, maybe you just need it in certain places. So just remember that you can always spot treat whatever issues you're having. Um, you don't have to use all of these products all over your face all the time. Another cleanser that I absolutely love and that you don't hear a lot about is this gentle face cleanser from Glyderm. This has 0.2% glycolic acid. It's pH balanced, it's a soap free cleanser, and it's a non-irritating formula for sensitive skin. This is great at removing makeup and because it has that glycolic acid, that is a chemical exfoliant. And so what that is going to do is get rid of the dry patches, increase the evenness of your skin. And I find that this even helps with milia around the eyes, those stubborn little white bumps that sometimes you get like under your eyes. This helps me with that as well. I find this gentle enough to use directly on my eyes to remove my eye makeup. Um, I, I just think this is a great all around cleanser and if you're having trouble with dry skin, this is gentle enough that it's not gonna dry your skin out further, but it is going to help with dryness, rough patches, that sort of thing. Another amazing chemical exfoliant that I'd like to recommend to you guys is the Dermalogica Gentle Cream Exfoliant. Now this is a little bit of a bigger gun. Um, you're going to add, you're going to use this like a face mask. Uh, you apply it for 15 minutes. It has highly active levels of lactic and salicylic acid. And what this is going to do is just leave your skin like baby butt smooth. Um, again, this is um, because of the fruit enzymes and type and the type of chemical exfoliant in here. When you first apply this, you can feel a little bit of burning, but it goes away within like a few seconds, and it's just your skin normalizing to having those chemicals put on. Um, this is not something that you want to use every day. This is definitely a treatment sort of um, product that you want to use. Um, again, you can spot treat if you want to, or you can use it all over the face. It's great for unclogging pores. It's great for acne, it's great for dry patches, but this is a great product. Dermalogica is a fantastic line um, that I've found that their products are very reliable. So um, if you want a sort of treatment mask, this is the one that I would recommend. Okay, moving on to treatments and moisturizers. So after you cleanse your skin, it is imperative that you add some moisture back into your skin right away when your skin is still damp and retaining some of the water from washing your face. And I have a couple of fantastic products here that I have been using for a long time and that I think would be really helpful for you guys. So a product in my moisturizing routine that has absolutely changed the game for me is a recommendation that I got from Dr. Dre here on YouTube. And she is a um, dermatologist. And this is something that she used in her skincare routine. And she really talked about how useful this can be in 
helping to replenish the moisture barrier in your skin, which is really what we're trying to do with all of these methods and products and everything. And this is the Hadalabo Tokyo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. Mine is dirty because I use it all the time and apparently I'm a slob. But um, what this is is just a very lightweight Oh, you probably won't be able to see that, but this is just a gel consistency that is very lightweight. You don't need a lot of this, um, but what I do is I put this on after I've used my like vitamin C treatment and that sort of thing as my first moisturizer. This is incredibly, I saw such a difference right away when I started using this. I didn't have burning and stinging from any of my other products like I used to because my moisture barrier in my skin was being promoted by this guy. Um, so if you're not looking to invest in a lot of new products and you just want something that maybe you can add to your routine that's really going to bump up your moisture level, I would highly suggest the Hadalabo Skin Plumping Cream. After I use my Hadalabo Skin Plumping Gel Cream, I go in with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. And you'll see on here it says Dermatologist Recommended Moisturizes and Helps Restore the Protective Skin Barrier. What's great about this product is it's affordable, it's available at the drugstore, and again, like the cleanser that I mentioned earlier from CeraVe, this is packed with essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. But hyaluronic acid is another fantastic ingredient that you want to look for. I applied this after I used the Hadalavo Skin Plumping Gel, and I use both of these in conjunction with each other. Another fantastic product that I want to talk about and suggest that you add to your routine is rosehip oil. Now, some people might be afraid to apply an oil directly to their face that, you know, you think it might help, might break you out, um, might be too much, but um, again, you can use this as a spot treatment. I use this all over my face. You can also um, add a few drops of this into your body lotion, but this is a fantastic little product from The Ordinary. It's about six bucks and it's 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. That's what you want. You want 100% organic and cold pressed. Um, I apply this after I have applied my more water-based products. Um, or right before I use my other moisturizers. But this might be, you know, again, one product that you buy and add to your routine that can really change the game for you with dryness. Rosehip seed oil is also known to fade acne marks, help improve the evenness and texture of your skin. And if you are finding that you're a little wrinkly and crepey these days, uh, a product like this can really be a gem in your routine. Let's say you're just looking for a great moisturizing face mask. You don't wanna change anything else up in your routine, but you would like to maybe add a step a couple of times a week just to plump your skin up a little bit. Um, a great recommendation that I have is this Bliss in the Honey Mega Moisturizing Lavender Honey Mask. Now this, as it says in the name, has honey in it. And you apply it for 15 minutes and um, then rinse thoroughly or tissue off. Use two to three times per week. When you rinse this off, you will see that water is beading on your skin because it's got that humectant of honey in it. And so it's really going to lock the moisture into your skin, keep it where it needs to be. And this is just, you know, 15 minutes, put on a face mask, play some Candy Crush, whatever you want to do. And uh, this is really going to help. And this is also drugstore. I got mine on Amazon, um, but this made a lot of the best of face masks for 2020. So if you're just looking for something quick and easy to add to your routine, I highly recommend this as well. 
Finally, and the science is still a little bit out on this particular recommendation, but I figure until they prove us otherwise, it can't hurt to try. And that is drinking more water. I'm terrible at this. Uh, I've gotten better recently, but just add some more water into your daily routine and you will feel it in your skin and your hair and your nails. And another recommendation that I have is even though the weather's changing, we're not seeing the sun as much as we did a few months ago, it is really important to keep wearing sunscreen. Sunscreen is incredibly important all year round. Even if you're working from home, sitting in front of a computer inside all day, you need to have sunscreen on because UV rays are coming in through the window. You're exposed to them all the time. And sunscreen is, again, one of those things that is going to help you protect the moisture barrier in your skin. And it's just a good, all-around, important thing to make sure that you have in your skincare routine. Okay, that wraps it up for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative and learned something and maybe found some products that you feel like might help you in your dry skin battle this year. And I'm here with you if you have any questions or concerns that I didn't cover in the video, please leave a comment below. I'd be so happy to hear from you guys. And I wanna thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.